Alrighty, how's it going guys? I'm Solo Ben, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a livery tutorial for you guys. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky because I've already got it on the car and I don't have the time to remake these livery designs, but it's going to be pretty easy to follow, okay? So you just got to mimic where I place all of these decals on the car. I'll go ahead and show you the decal, I'll show you the color that I'm using, and then all you got to do from there is make sure you place it uh, where I am placing... Uh, my decals if that makes any sense so as you would have seen from the thumbnail there's a lot of detail in this car it's really cool there's a lot of cool little tricks that you can add into your own cars and if you guys do make this livery design be sure to screenshot it and send me a picture on xbox my gamer tag is in the description below and uh yeah i'd love to see it and i'll showcase it in the next video or a few videos from now when they start coming in so you guys can see your own video uh your own cars on the channel so I'm going to start from the beginning and I'm going to go with the color. If you want to replicate it, here is the color for the main car. Oh, just kick the side bit there. <laughs> there we go. And the kits that we are going to be using is the missile kit. That's what I'm using. Missile kit and I'm using a half cage. So if you don't know what a half cage is, this is the half cage right here. So these are the full cage and there's a the half cage. So that's like a because I'm going for a street build, I want to use a half cage, not a full cage. So once you've done that, oh, also I should show you the wheels, right? That would probably help. Wheels. D-spec, and you want to go to these ones here, right between the BBS spoke looking wheels and the tri-spoke wheels. These ones right here. Really nice. You can use any wheel you want though. Now to the livery itself. I already have the whole livery on the car. So that's why you can see some random bits sticking out because I've got it all hidden. So then I can just show you piece by piece and do the best job that I possibly can with what I have to work with. <laughs> so a lot of it is not in order as well and I don't have the tints removed because it kind of affects the side of the car and it makes it look weird. So the first layer is this one right here. Under the rows, this is one of the very new decal options that we have. And I'm using pretty much only these ones right here. I think I added these two at some point. Maybe a couple of these ones here. But for the most part, they are all in this area here. So when you see me placing items on the side of the car, you've just got to match it with these ones right here. And I would suggest that you get these down before you do the color. But I will show you the color that I will be using uh, for the very first one. So you just want to go ahead and place this one down. Oh, where are we? There we go. Right there. You're going to have to stretch it out a bit, get it to fit. But if you go to the color, for layer one, I've got chrome. And for layer two, I'm using candy. And it's like a scion, really, really uh, faint scion color. Nice and simple. So that's the first layer right there. And from here, you just want to go ahead and uh, copy every single layer that I place down. Try and mimic it. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic so you can do that. I'm going to keep a small delay in between, which gives you guys time to pause the video in between so you can get it exactly where I'm placing it.
Alrighty, so that's all of the main livery on the side, all bare bones. Now you can go ahead if you haven't already and change the colour. Now you don't have to keep it that colour if you don't want to. I wanted to try and make it so then there's so many different options. I actually already have tested this out. I've done the car white with fluoro green livery on the side. I've done black with glitter in the background. I've done so many different variations with this to see what you can, what you can do with the car. I wanted to make sure that there was more than one option you can run with this car. Because uh, I don't want everybody using the same exact colors and everything. It just get boring, right? So I wanted to give you guys options. And that's what I've done. So once you've done all that, you, your car should look something like this. Minus the, the tints and stuff on the windows. It should look something like this. Nice and tidy. Nice and clean. Not too, not too difficult, right? Not too difficult. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab these right here. And what these are is you want to go to the stripe category up the top there you want to work your way over to this one right here and what you want to do here is you want to stretch it out so then the top point is long and the side points are not as long you know what i mean so you want to go ahead and stretch it with the uh, options there you don't want to use the scale you want to click over to advanced controls and you want to use stretch and you want to stretch these out okay let me just go into this real quick you want to stretch that out just like so. See what I mean? By you want to stretch the top end out and keep the sides the same. Just so they're like that. And then once you go once you've gone ahead and done that, you want to flip it and place it exactly the same, but in the opposite direction. Just like so. And there will be a gap in between, but we're gonna fill those gaps up later. So once you've done that, all you have to do is go ahead and do that in all the same locations that I do on the side and the hood of the car and also with the color I am using chrome uh, you just match it up with whatever color you've made the livery on the sides Alrighty, so after you've done that, all you want to do is go ahead and grab yourself a full stop, because that's literally what I used. So go to the alphabet setting right there, or options there, and go to the full stop. Go ahead and stretch the full stop so it's a little bit longer, uh, and then go ahead and use it to fill in these gaps right here. So let me just showcase that right here. So I'll pull it off to the side so you can see what I'm talking about. You want to make it quite long on the sides. And you just use that to fill in those little gaps on every single star, just like so. And then once you've done that, I will go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some of the cosmetic stuff like the damage and the, the rubber on the side of the car. Because I want to make this car look like it actually sees some time on the track. It's not just a... A mantelpiece car you know what I mean so I'm gonna add in some of my uh, stuff for the outside now all of the stuff that I use to make the car look a little bit rougher for rubber I use these three right here and for um, bumper damage I use this one right here and for smoke I also use that one there so you just want to go ahead and grab yourself one of those layers which is the one that I'm using for this is this one right here and go ahead and pop that on the back side of the wheel right like that 
and then I'm gonna go back up here to where the other layers are go ahead and add those layers in you can't really see them because they're really really faint but that's how I like it I just want a little bit of uh, detail they're not too crazy like some people have it and then I want to use that uh, fade the circle fade from the same one right here go over to there that one right there and place that on there really really nice and the thing I like about this one is it's darker towards the exhaust and as it fades up it actually changes the con the contrast of the color that you have on the car so it makes it look like there's actually paint damage from the from the exhaust with the heat which is really really nice and then I go ahead and add a little bit of dirt around there from the exhaust uh, making it look a little bit more mucky so it's gonna skip past the window screen stuff for now I'm gonna add a bit more of the damage so it's gonna add that one right there if you don't know what this one is it is this one right here under the stripe category once again and then we are going to use this one on the front bumper keeping it white and the reason I keep it white is because these kits underneath are white before they're all painted so when they do get chipped and and get damage uh, like I'm trying to show here with like stone damage uh, underneath always shows up white for the most part with some of the old Euro style kits and that uh, that kind of kit that you get online so on um, this one here let me just showcase the another color because it's just white uh, the one that I'm using for this is that one right there now time for some stickers all my stickers are chrome I believe or satin I have to I'll actually check yeah they're chrome not full bright chrome it's like almost halfway chrome and then you can use any sticker you want doesn't have to be a specific sticker but these are the stickers that I'm using I'm also using a arrow at the back to point to the, the toe area now if you don't know where this is it's also really easy to find you just go to the red triangle and it's in here you change the background to white or you change them to whatever color that suits what you're trying to build now I'm going to use this sticker right here use it as chrome then I'm going to duplicate that twice which is these layers here so I can get an outline so how I did this is I made one slightly bigger and then I made one slightly smaller and that's literally all I did it's very very simple uh, very basic but looks really cool I added in a black drift performance 2005 sticker a chrome stroker sticker and a custom bodywork sticker in black because I wanted to variate it uh, I wanted to vary it in color um, but making sure that the color schemes and color palette is pretty much the same it looks really nice I like it gonna add a little squid on the front just to fill in that gap and I think it fits the car I'm gonna add a hook hook ale I don't I don't even know what this brand is but it's the same deal you add the top layer which is your main color you duplicate it twice and make those underlining colors black but for this one you move one to the left and one to the right that's all you have to do button same again with this one one to the left one to the right and then one in the middle which is your main one now to the rear uh, license plate and the what's it called the lights which is really cool go ahead and add a chrome square and then add a gloss square on top of that make it slightly smaller so you can get a bit of a chrome lip around the entire border to make it look like a proper license plate now I like to use a slightly yellowish tinge to make it look like it's not so brand spanking new but that's just me go ahead and add in whatever writing you want to add in here if you want to make it look like a genuine license plate go for it but I just wanted to call this nasty uh, and to get it perfect what I do is I go ahead and I add in a square so go to your star go across to your square like so a little bit smaller and because this is already completely square the square is square uh, you don't have to adjust it you just got to change the size bring it down and then find out where you want to place your lettering and line everything up to line up with with the top of that square and it should look really really good so just delete that real quick my cat's just walked in so he's been nosy the next thing you want to do is you want to grab uh, where is it go back into your stripes we seem to love this one right and move across all the way to the right until you hit this right here 
go ahead and uh, put symmetry on just like so and get that in the little piece right here now sometimes you might not be able to get it as perfect as you want uh, but you just got to do your best and if you go too high it will actually go on the red bumper so you need to be careful of that just get it to where you need it and then you want to go and grab those handy dandy full stops again that we used earlier and you want to hit and you want to go ahead and make one of them gray get out cat god damn it make one of them gray oh, where are we there we go and it's pretty much the same shape as earlier and you want to place it just on the top of that piece right there okay just like so and you want to duplicate that layer and make it yellow and make it slightly smaller as you can see I don't know if you can but you want to make it a little bit more narrow just so it's not touching the sides as much and then place it down and then you want to go back down to the second layer and duplicate that and then bring that layer above the yellow layer right here and cover that yellow layer just leaving a tiny bit of that yellow layer sticking out underneath just to, you know just to give it the the look that it's an actual light emitting light you know what I mean and it looks really cool now a little bit more damage that we're gonna add here a little bit of damage on the rear bumper right there once again making it white because it makes it pop more and because these bumpers in real life are actually white underneath if you're not using one of those plastic bumpers now this is what you kind of got to deal with so that is pretty much all of the sides and the hood done the only thing we actually really need to do for the hood is the stickers which are once again really simple you can use any stickers you want here there isn't any in, uh, any sticker you have to use in particular just like so that is literally all I did for the stickers on the hood and all of them are the same color it's all a fairly dark chrome uh, but they look really really nice so with that we're going to go ahead and work on the windows which is the last piece of the car so we're going to come back down to now I need to be careful how I do this because this can be a little bit confusing if I do it wrong so we'll start with the window banner okay so you want to get a window banner so you go to the the far left of your category and work your way over until you hit this one right here come on there we go and you'll get a layer like that now this is my top layer so I actually did that wrong so I want to do this layer first so there's my my layer for underneath and then you want to go ahead and duplicate that layer change it to whatever color you're going to make it I made it a hologram color and then you want to make that layer a little bit higher so you want to bring it up like I have on this one because originally it'll be somewhere like there so you just want to bring it up a bit so you've got that green and I matched the color of that bottom lip of the bottom banner here with the color of the car so you just do the same thing with yours go ahead and add your sticker I just added a street slider sticker and then I match the color with the liveries on the side of the car which looks really really nice in my opinion so with that out of the way we are going to go ahead and work on some of the tints on the side of the car so the first thing you want to do is you want to place down your driver's seat your driver's door tint and this one is really easy once again uh, the color I'm using is metallic black and the occupus, uh, opacity is slightly down a bit so just so you can start to see through it a bit just so it's not too black and then uh, yeah pop that like that just get it so it looks like a window which is half down go ahead and place your driver's door window the same and I actually used two here so I used one like that you can see how there's a little gap at the, at the top right of the window that's why I had to use two it's my seat by the way it's super squeaky and that goes there and obviously I wanted to fill that gap there so I just do the same there now back to the front windows we're gonna start working on our custom roll cage which we made which looks really cool so you want to go ahead and head over to once again the left hand category the little uh, star there go all the way to the right and grab this one right here and you want to make this one what color have I used here I've used satin all the way to the bottom for the darkness uh, where are we there we go and place that down like so then you want to duplicate that layer 
and move it just to the side like so and you want to make that one a little bit lighter and you want to make that gloss like so just so it makes it seem like there's two different actual sections there not just one big chunk of gray if you know what I mean and it does make all the difference once again go ahead and grab your handy dandy uh, full stops you should know where they are by now go ahead and place them all the way up the side like so just like that and then that's it the front of the car is pretty much complete should be looking nice as an hour on your screen hopefully it looks pretty much the same if not well maybe go back a few steps but uh now we're going to work on a few of the other stickers for the car and then we'll go ahead and get the sidebars done and it'll be pretty much done and dusted so we're going to add in a sticker here just want to make sure i'm not forgetting any stickers okay why not a few small stickers you don't have to use the exact same stickers as me you can use completely different stickers those are the stickers that i used and for the rear i use the big 105 sticker one of the newer ones and this one here at the top all chrome by the way nice and tidy obviously you can go crazy with that add all sorts of stuff and then that's pretty much it the only other thing i need to add is this right here so once again you want to go ahead and grab your uh what's it called um your little bar here this one here place it on each side obviously put on symmetry change it to this color right here i left it at basic apparently I'm actually going to change that to metallic bring that to about there and then once again you just add in your little circles obviously you could add a little uh, protective uh, cage thing on the outside for the window I, don't, I can't remember what they're called but they look really cool but I'm not going to add it on this car because I think it's got enough as it is and at the end of it your car should be looking pretty dang sweet guys this thing is really nice I'm going to go ahead and get out of that screen now obviously I've got other liveries as well uh, I've got that one which I've uh, had on this car for a long time and that's actually one of my first first right there but uh, we're not going to worry about that and that's pretty much it so I'm going to go ahead and uh, have a little look see see what it looks like in game and uh, give it a bit of a walk around for you guys and then uh, yeah that'll probably be the video Alrighty, so that's gonna be it guys that's pretty much the design right here there's a few other things that I probably didn't add in such as like uh, my caliper colors I think I made everything black and I just made the caliper the calipers um, like a orangey-ish color you can change that up to whatever you want but I really like this livery I think it looks really nice obviously you can change up the kit if you wanted to uh, you can get rid of the the rear spoiler if you wanted to as well that's my original setup that i had but i really wanted something different on the car uh, instead of just having no spoiler because everyone runs no spoiler and i just thought that i needed to add at least something so that's what i did i just added a spoiler there and i think it makes it look a little bit more detailed in the rear as there's not much detail on the uh on the back side of the car there so hopefully you guys enjoyed it but like i said if you do replicate this build, be sure to hit me up in my uh, messages on Xbox. Go ahead and send me a screenshot and I'll uh, I'll showcase those pictures when they come through in the next few videos in the future so you guys can see your builds. And also, I love seeing them. So hopefully I can see you guys out there in this build. I'd love to see your setups. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in the next one.